Welcome back to Oakhaven. Uh, spring wildflowers. Uh, we've been doing a whole series on spring wildflowers, and um, people are very interested in spring wildflowers. So there's a lot of posts on Facebook and Instagram and iNaturalist and uh, spring wildflowers that are, are in bloom right now. And I notice a lot of confusion about the water leaves. Uh, so there are water leaves. There are four water leaves that, that grow in the Ohio area. Uh, and we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what they are and how you can tell them apart. And uh, so we're going to start off with this one here. This is large-leafed water leaf. This is the, probably the most prevalent one on our property. Large-leaf water leaf. Okay, so it's called water leaf because the bottom leaves, the first leaves that come out, look like they have water spots. They're dark green, but then they have these light green splotches on them. So in the early spring, you'll find a rosette on the ground of these leaves, and it looks like someone left them out in the rain and they got water spots. Now, as they grow up, they don't have quite the, the, the blotchiness, and they're just the green here. So this is large-leafed water leaf, and you can see it's got a pretty big leaf. And the way you tell, I'm going to pair up these, these uh, uh, four water leaves that we're going to talk about. Uh, by making pairs of the ones that are, are most similar. So large leaf water leaf has this leaf that's probably about twice as long as it is wide. Okay? Two of the water leaves have more of a, I'll say round, they're not round, but they're about the same length as they are the width. So this one, which has just started to bloom, I think it's one of the last ones to bloom in the series, uh, has a very furry stem. So if you look at this, it's just covered with little hairs here. So that's how you tell this from Virginia water leaf, which is its look-alike as far as I'm concerned. You can also tell Virginia water leaf generally has a, a blue or purplish uh, group of flowers. Uh, it can turn white uh, and it can actually bleach out in the sun and turn white. The large leaf water leaf seems like it's just mostly white. Pretty f group of flowers here. I mean it just looks like a, an explosion from of a uh, uh, firework or something like that. So this is large leaf water leaf. Now we're going to go over and look at uh, the Virginia water leaf so you can see the comparison. And actually I'm going to take one of these leaves over there so that we can show them to you side by side. This is Virginia water leaf. We actually haven't seen Virginia water leaf growing wild on our property before. Uh, if you look at the USDA's range map for uh, Virginia water leaf, it shows a pretty wide range it's missing in Claremont County, which is where we're at. Generally, that means that people haven't reported it, but maybe it, it's not very prevalent here. Um, but this happened to show up in our, in our landscaping beds, and I don't know exactly how it got there. Maybe it got there naturally. Maybe it came in on something else. I don't know. But the Virginia water leaf, the stem is smooth. It doesn't have the, the hairs on it. The flower, obviously, is this purple. Here I've got the um, large leaf water leaf for comparison, and you can see the difference in the stem there. The large leaf is very hairy, and the Virginia water leaf is not hairy. And then the leaf down at the base, while it has that typical water leaf leaf, you can see that it has more sharp points to it, whereas the large leaf water leaf has a, is a little more rounded. Virginia water leaf, large leaf water leaf. So that's Virginia water leaf. I wanted to talk a little bit about how you find out these things. If you're walking through the woods and you find something like this, how do you look up what it is? You can look it up in a book. Um, that's you know the the uh, the analog version of uh, of cell phones. We used to call them books. They had pages. It was really kind of cool. Um, you could use them without electricity. Who would have thought? Um, now there's apps where you can take a picture of this and you can put it into iNaturalist or Snap or various other um, apps that will help you identify them. Often though, it will, tell you, it will give you a, a group of choices. And you need to know, okay, well, what's the difference between those? And the apps don't do a very good job at that. They're, they're amazing at lim limiting it to a small number of uh, plants, perhaps to a genus, but they don't really tell you Ah, the way you tell whether it's this first choice or this second choice is such and such a characteristic. So what I do, because we're in Ohio, I use this book, which is Vascular Plants of Ohio, and it's a key. So it will take whatever 
plant we're looking at, and it will explain, look for this characteristic on this plant, and look for this characteristic on that plant. And we'll go through it. We'll do a video on how to use a, a dichotomous key, or a key where you've got two choices, and you t make a choice, and that leads you on to the next section, and you take two choices, and you leads you on to the next section. But that's what I recommend for uh, Ohio. There's lots of good uh, field guides and other things for other areas. Um, if you have comments, if you have your favorite, uh, favorite field guides, leave them down in the comments section. Other people would be glad to see them, I'm sure. So next we're going to talk about the other two water leaves that don't have these leaves that are longer than broad, but are, are more rounded. It will be uh, Canada or maple leaf water leaf, that's one option, or the um, great water leaf, which is the one that we also have down here, and we'll head down to the creek and we can look at that. So we've talked about the two water leaves that have the leaves that are longer than they are wide the Virginia water leaf and the large leafed water leaf. This is the large leafed water leaf. Now we're going to talk about the two where the leaves are more rounded. Not round, but more the length and the width are about the same. Here you can see the length and the width may be off a little bit, but it, it's not as long as the other two. So there is this one, which is great water leaf or appendaged water leaf, and then Canada water leaf which we don't have here, and I'll show you the difference between the two. So appendaged water leaf, or great water leaf, is a pretty common plant on our property. And the way you recognize it is that appendaged water leaf has this little appendage here. There's the petals, the, the lavender petals, and underneath it, <coughs> excuse me, underneath it are the green sepals. And at the base of each sepal, in the little um, sinus there that's formed, there's an appendage, a little leaf-like structure that's pointing down that's the appendage that gives it the name appendaged water leaf. Uh, the Canada water leaf or maple leaf water leaf does not have that. So I'll put in a couple pictures here that'll show the difference between the great water leaf and the maple leaf or Canada water leaf that uh, will maybe show you how to tell those apart a little easier. So I said I was going to include some pictures of Canada water leaf or broadleaf water leaf or maple leaf water leaf, those are all common names for the same plant, Hydrophyllum canadensis. Um, rather than just putting pictures, uh, I decided to take it a step further. So I took out my phone, I went to the iNaturalist app, and I did a search in the area for um, Hydrophyllum canadensis, and I found like half a dozen places that it grows in the area. And we're visiting one of them right now, this is Kelly Nature Preserve, uh, and uh, here is the plant that we were talking about. So, broadleaf water leaf has this maple-like leaf, kind of like the appendaged water leaf for the great water leaf that we have uh, back home. But the big difference here is that the leaf, or the flowering stalk, is underneath the leaf. It's actually lower than the leaf. So the leaves actually will cover it up. So it has these, this kind of a similar flower cluster, white flowers, but they're underneath the leaf, they're lower. Very smooth um, stalk. That's broadleafed water leaf. So that's an introduction to the water leaves. Hopefully that was useful to you. Uh, if you like the video, obviously hit the like button. If this is useful to you and you like what we do uh, as we walk through the woods and we explain what we find in our, our woodlands, uh, we have always appreciate new subscribers. If you have comments, uh, your experience with water leaves, or what you're doing in the way of woodland management, what's going on on your property, leave them in the comments section. We try to get back to you on that and, uh, and create a dialogue. Anyway, thanks for coming along.